So we have our backpack, the one we packed in the intro. So we, we got a smartphone, we got a map of the city, we got a key ring, a wallet, a laptop, this photo of the mm -hmm. school friends, a water bottle, which is good for if you, if you walk and play. And a swordfish, which and a swordfish, is the password. Which was the password, right. So now we get the information. Uh, they found a message on the computer. Uh, Max has disappeared without a trace. Mm -hmm. So now we get more parts of the story. Some people have contacted the police after Max disappeared. The first person is Paul. He was Max's best friend. And we've seen him already, actually, on the photo. He was our schoolmate as well. The detective tells us that we have to talk to Paul. Now, after this dialogue, we get the map again. Mm -hmm. And then we see that there is Paul, the guy, ah, okay. the friend of Max. He's waiting somewhere here. We're going to walk down the Reichenberger Straße and go to the Manteuffel Straße and see what's happening there. OK, great. Yeah. <laughs> Story-wise, we play a character, Max's friend, who tries to find Max by running through a fictional game world, in this case a fictionalized Berlin, talking to different characters on one's way. Let's have a closer look at the story and plot type that is introduced to us in the intro video of the game. The intro video gives us a lean-back story exposition and a quick insight into our ordinary world. We are located in a hotel where we receive an email from our friend Max, who is asking us to meet him in his flat. He writes that he needs our help. What we can see here on the narrative and dramaturgic level is a very classic inciting incident and a call to adventure, as we already know from the hero's journey. We soon actively walk to and reach a point of no return at Max's flat. While Max is nowhere to be found, a police detective is showing us the way while also looking for our friend. From the detective, who hereby acts as a herald-guardian mixture, we learn about the characters Paul and Lisa, who have called the police and might possibly know something about Max's departure. As we decide to search for Max on our own, we are crossing the threshold into the special world and by that actively enter what looks like a classical hero's journey into the secrets of Secret City, looking for an object of desire that in this story again is less an object but a person, Max. The game mechanics of Secret City resemble those of a classic adventure game. Can we talk about something else, please? Only if we have to, but if we really must, fire away. The given dialogue choices closely resemble the ones we know from adventure games as well. We choose the right answer to unfold the story further, like in Indiana Jones, for example. We also have an inventory where we can collect items that we find throughout the game to maybe use later on. We found a mushroom. It looks like this mushroom has been planted in Berlin in the street. Selected items are presented to us via augmented reality throughout the game. This way we don't follow the given map blindly, but receive in a way a reward by finding the right location here in Berlin and pointing the camera at the right spot. We could just grab this little guy. Or maybe we could talk to the mushroom, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, let's talk let's to talk it. Let's talk to it. Oh, it's talking. Oh, it's talking. It's a talking mushroom. Yeah, I, I think that, that's a good idea. Um, we, should, we should eat it first and then, <laughs> then we can talk to mushrooms or something like that. So um, let's just take it, right? This means even if we physically have to walk through this world and not use a computer mouse as we would do in Monkey Island, for example, much of the other mechanics seem familiar, which makes the game relatable to anybody who is not a frequent and experienced location-based gamer. Now, we t you can see we took the mushroom and then we, uh, we get a second achievement. It's called Mushroom Hunter. And we are uh, great in picking up mushrooms in the in the city. And no. this is important for the game? Um, it has, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, uh, the mushrooms have uh, a very important, take a very important part in the story as it unfolds. So it's more like a potion, like in a 
hero's journey potion giving way or let's say uh, mushrooms are uh, there's more to the item we see in mushrooms which is kind of a topic of the game but uh, it's it will come much much later so at the moment we're just like grabbing these little friends and talking to them maybe and get some wisdom from okay. them Actually, this this is one of the things uh, which is which are funny when you when you do a location-based game. I didn't see this mushroom when I play. I, I put the mushroom here. When I when I made the game, I, I was uh, I, I took days and weeks to uh, to walk along the the game route. Mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't I didn't see the mushroom. But the game testers saw the mushroom when when the when the testers played it. They said, "Oh, there's a real mushroom there." And I was like, "Wow, where?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, of course. So it's more chance, like that, that was plan chance storytelling. Yeah. That was that was right. chance okay. storytelling, right? Yeah. So we're here um, at some restaurant, and and we found Paul. Oh, we found Paul. Yeah. Let's let's uh, see where he is. Um, so where is Paul? Where is Paul? Oh, there there's is. Paul. There's Paul. Yeah, just right in, in, the, in the tree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. He's he's standing there. He's waiting for us, and he seems to be uh, telephoning. He says that now he he doesn't recognize us mm -hmm. from school, and if you think about the um, the intro, what 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 could we tell Paul? He tells us, "I do not know you," or "I do know you not." And we can choose one answer. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So, what are we going to do? Um, There's been some clue in the in the intro. Okay. So we basically have to know um, the the third friend yes. who's on the picture. Yes. Do you remember her? Oh, was she Nadine or Claudia? I, I do not know. <laughs> yeah, but one of those, right? Yeah. Margarine. It wasn't. No, no, no it, it wasn't was margarine. <laughs> Uh, I'd go for Nadine. You go for Nadine. Ah, okay. Yeah, great. Mm. Okay. So let's just say we, it's really yeah. urgent, Paul. We don't have time to talk about the good old times. So he, he's telling us a bit about the um, about the uh, what the characters are like their constellation. So basically, it's kind of like a bit of backstory. Yes, we are we're getting some backstory. It. And after talking to Paul, we have we have the second person that we wanted to meet. That's the girlfriend, okay. and she's she's further up the street. Okay, we just met Paul over at the corner, right there, and we are now gonna see um, Lisa, which is the girlfriend of our protagonist uh, Max, who's missing. We are going closer to get to know the mystery behind Max's missing case. Yeah, that's our plan. Let's go. Let's go.